Hi, welcome to Mary Makes. I'm Mary and today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this Amigurumi Umbreon. This was a request and you can find the pattern on my blog. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to know basic crochet skills, um, including how to make the magic ring, how to single crochet, increase and decrease. These are the materials you'll need to crochet Umbreon. Uh, of course, you'll need black and yellow yarn. I'm using worsted weight and the appropriately sized hook. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, stuffing. And for the eyes, I'm actually using, um, they sell these as noses, amigurumi noses. I'm using two of them for eyes because I really liked the uh, triangle shape. Umbreon is made in several pieces and then crocheted together. So first we'll crochet the head, then the ears, we'll crochet the body and the feet and the tail. Then at the end, we'll embroider on all of the details. For round one of the head, start with six single crochet in the magic ring. For round two of the head, you're going to increase in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. Round number three, you're going to single crochet in one stitch and then increase in the next all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. For round number four, you're going to single crochet one in one stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then increase in the stitch after that. You're going to do this all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. For round number five, you're going to single crochet three, one, two and three, and then increase. Do this all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So here's round five complete. You should have 30 stitches. For round six, seven, eight, and nine, you're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch. I'll meet you back here. Here is round six through nine completed. Going on to round 10, you're going to single crochet three, one, two, three, and then do a decrease. You're gonna do this all the way around until you have 24 stitches. All right, there's round 10 complete. For round number 11, you're gonna make two single crochets, one, two, followed by a decrease. Do this all the way around and you'll have 18 stitches. Now that we've completed round number 11, we're gonna pause to attach the safety eyes. You're going to attach the safety eyes between rounds seven and eight, leaving five stitches apart. So getting my eyes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna stick one right here. And then I'm gonna count five stitches. One, two, uh, wait, yeah, one, two, three, four, five and then I'm going to insert my other eye in the next uh, spot. Oops, that one's turned over. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to go find the backs and then attach them. Now that we've attached our safety eyes, we're going to go ahead and crochet round number 12. Round number 12, you're going to start with one single crochet followed by a decrease. Do this all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. There is round 12 complete. Go ahead and pause here to stuff the head before we close it off. Round 13 is the final round of our head and you're going to do six decreases all the way around. Now that round 13 is complete, I'm gonna leave myself a long yarn tail, which I'll use to close up the head and then sew it to the body. Now let's make Umbreon's ears. Start with four single crochet in the magic ring.
For round number two, we're going to do one single crochet in each of these four stitches. It's a little tight, but just be patient. Also, I'm not sure how well you can see this given that it's black yarn. All right, once you're done with round number two, just be sure to pop it out like that so you clearly see your stitches in the magic circle. You see that like um, donut looking shape. For round number three, you're going to uh, increase followed by a single crochet and you're gonna do that two times. So increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet for a total of six stitches. And in the final stitch, we're going to change to yellow yarn. So here's that first increase. Here's a single crochet. Here's that second increase. And here's the final single crochet. I'm gonna draw out my black loop and then I'm gonna take my yellow yarn and complete the stitch. For rounds four through five, you're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch with the yellow yarn. Okay, here I am in the last stitch of round five in yellow. I'm gonna do a color change, draw up a yellow loop, and then I never disconnected my uh, black working yarn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that back up to complete the stitch. And at this point right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my yellow yarn, and I'm just gonna knot that to my working yarn just so that it's all secure. All right, so for round number six, we're going to uh, do an increase followed by two single crochet, and we'll do that twice for a total of eight stitches. So here's the first increase, single crochet, single crochet, and then the second increase, single crochet and single crochet. For round number eight, uh, sorry, round number seven, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. And then for the final round, round eight, we're going to do a decrease followed by a single crochet, a second decrease, a single crochet, and a final decrease. You should have a total of five stitches now. Go ahead and cut off your yarn, leaving a long tail for sewing. All right, I've gone ahead and made two ears. Uh, you don't have to stuff these. Um, I'm not stuffing them, but I did make sure that all of my yarn ends from the color changes and such were tucked inside, so they, they have a little bit of filling. Go ahead and set these aside we will sew it to the head later now onto the body start with a slip knot 
and go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And in the second chain from the hook, you're gonna start uh, with four single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And in the last stitch, you're going to single crochet three in there. One, two, and three. Then you'll flip your work around and you're going to single crochet three on the other side. One, two, and three. And finally, increase in the final stitch. Increase, okay. You should have a total of 12 stitches for round one. For round number two of the body, you're gonna start with an increase in the first stitch. Then you're gonna single crochet three. One, two, and three. Then you're gonna do three increases, an increase, so an increase in the next three stitches, increase here, increase here, and increase there. Then you're gonna do three single crochet. And finally, you're going to increase in the next stitch and increase in the final stitch. And there is round number two complete. You should have 18 stitches all the way around. So now for round number three, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make 18 stitches into 24 stitches. Uh, we'll do that by starting with one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by an increase. Then four single crochet, one, two, three and four and then you're going to increase and single crochet one increase and single crochet one and increase one more time and then um, you're going to single crochet four one two, three, four, then you're going to increase one single crochet and one final increase. So now you should have 24 stitches. For rounds four, five, and six, go ahead and put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back here when I'm done with those. Here are rounds four through six completed. So now let's move on to round seven. Round seven, you're gonna start with a decrease, then four single crochet, one, two, three, and four. Do another decrease, then one single crochet, a decrease, one single crochet and another decrease. Now you're gonna do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then a decrease, a single crochet, and a final decrease. You should have a total of 18 stitches now at the end of round number seven. For the final round of the body, round number eight, you're gonna start with a decrease, then work three single crochets, one, two, and three. Now you're gonna work three decreases, that's one decrease, a second decrease and a final decrease. 
then you're gonna work three single crochets one two and three and finish the round with two more decreases one decrease and a second decrease so now you should have a total of 12 stitches all the way around you're actually going to cut off a long yarn end and uh, pull through I'm going to stuff this piece and I'll be right back with you to uh, sew this opening shut so now that I've stuffed the body I'm just going to take my uh, yarn end and thread it through a yarn needle and I'm going to uh, whip stitch them together I'm going to take the front loop on this side and on this side to just whip stitch it shut like so trying to keep all my stuffing inside so it doesn't get into my stitches there all right go ahead and finish it off I'm just going to tie a knot and tuck in the tail and then set the body aside and we'll sew all the pieces together at the end now we're going to make the feet start with five single crochet in the magic ring for round number one and then for rounds two and three put one single crochet in each stitch All right, there's round numbers two and round number three completed. Uh, we just have a little tiny foot here. Go ahead and make four of these and set them aside. All right, here are four little feet completed. Set those aside. All that's left is for us to crochet the tail. So go ahead and grab your black yarn and start with four single crochet in the magic ring for round number one. For round number two, you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch. All right, for round number three, you're going to increase single crochet, increase single crochet. For round number four, you're going to increase single crochet uh, three times. So increase single crochet, increase single crochet, increase single crochet. And in the final stitch, you're going to change to yellow yarn. So here's my last stitch. I'm going to take my yellow yarn and finish that stitch there. For rounds five and six, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch.
All right, here's the last stitch of round number six, and I'm just going to pick up my black yarn again. And while I'm here, I'm just going to cut off my yellow yarn. And tie a knot to make sure it's all secure. Okay, for round number seven, we're gonna start with a decrease and then seven single crochet. For round number eight, I'm going to do a decrease, two single crochet, decrease, two single crochet for uh, six stitches. For the last round, round number nine, we're gonna do four single crochet followed by a decrease. And there's the tail completed. Cut off, leaving a tail for sewing. I'm going to lightly stuff the tail and then I'll be back with you to uh, sew it all together. If you're wondering, this is the technique I use to stuff the tail. I get a tiny little piece of stuffing and I use my pinky and I go with the stab and the twist method. Stab, twist, stab, twist, stab, twist, just like that. All right, it's time to sew it together. Uh, make sure your yarn end is a little off center from the head and then line it up so that your eyes are facing forward and the body is in the middle and then start sewing. All right, now that the head is sewn onto the body, let's sew the ears on next. All right, there is the ears uh, sewn onto the head. I should have mentioned the placement. I placed the ears uh, between rounds three and five. So if you count one, two, three, four, and five, I just make sure the ears are right in between those rows and I make sure that they're lined up with the center where you started. Let's sew the tail on next. Line it up with the center of the body and um, just start sewing it in place there. All right, now that the tail is sewn on, let's sew on the feet. Line up the feet, and I try to keep the, um, the where I'm sewing it to the second and to last and the last rounds here. So I'm just going to line it up there and start my stitch here. Uh, sew on all four feet and I'll meet you back here. All right, here is Umbreon with four little feet sewn on. Stands pretty well. So all that's left to do is to embroider on the circles onto the forehead and onto each of the legs. I'm going to show you how to embroider the chain stitch. Um, and my biggest pro tip for this next part is just to be super patient with yourself and take it slow. Let's start with Umbreon's head circle. Cut yourself a length of yellow yarn, thread it through your yarn needle. What we wanna do is we wanna make nine chain stitches and I'm gonna tell you the exact placement. We're gonna place two chain stitches 
um, at the very bottom with one at the top and the remaining uh, six, three on each side in between. Um, it doesn't matter if you go counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, so I'm just going to start by stabbing in from somewhere. And remember how we left um, five stitches in between the two safety eyes? Go ahead and stab into the second from the right of those stitches. Once you're in there, to make the chain stitch, you're going to put your yarn needle back into where you came from and go out the next one. So like that, but make sure your yarn is inside of the loop. And so that way when you pull it tight, oops, let me make sure I'm centered. When you pull it tight, you see that little chain forming. Um, to do the next chain, again, we'll stab our needle back down to where we came out from and we'll, oop, we'll pull it out there and make sure your needle goes through that loop that you're making so that when you pull it tight, you've got a stitch there. So there's two on the bottom. So for the next one, I'm gonna stab my needle back down and I'm gonna go up. And then once I get my circle to be smaller, I'm gonna send my yarn needle through that loop. So there's our third chain stitch. I'm gonna do it again, going up from here. In here. So once you've made it this far, you have two stitches on the bottom, one on the top, three on this side, and you have two on this side. You're gonna want your last stitch to come around um, or go underneath your first chain stitch you made and then pull it tight and send it back through where it's coming from. So now that we've done that, uh, we will complete the circle. And there is the circle embroidered onto uh, Umbreon's head. The next uh, bit of embroidery we'll do is to embroider the leg circles on each of the legs. Um, you'll see here on my first Umbreon that I made that I only have one good leg circle. The rest of mine turned out uh, in a weird shape or too small. So I am going to probably take these out and redo them before listing this on my website. But what I learned from this one, which is the leg circle I did last, is that it's easiest to make three chain stitches in the foot and then four chain stitches in the body. So again, we're, we've got an, um, an odd number of chains in our circle, four on the top, three on the bottom. So let's get started. All right, I have threaded my needle with a longer piece of yellow yarn because um, I'm gonna use one piece to do two leg circles on one side and then one piece to do two leg circles on the other side. So first I'm gonna start, stab my yarn needle through somewhere in the body and I'm gonna start with um, the four in the body before finishing up with the three in the leg. 
So we'll start here and I'm gonna go right here. Okay, and again, to start the chain stitch, what you're gonna do is where your yarn is coming out, you're gonna put your needle back in and then come out somewhere else and just make sure that your needle is coming through the working yarn like that. So there's our first chain stitch in the body. Oh, I guess I started a little over, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, and four. I'm just gonna try to identify seven points where I want my chains to go. So there's my first chain. I'm gonna want my next one to go right here. Okay, well, there is one leg circle done. Um, it's not the best, but it's pretty good, so I'm gonna keep it. Go ahead and make three more leg circles, uh, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. All right, I finished embroidering on the remaining three leg circles, and I think they look all right. They look like circles. It's very tricky to do these with the chain stitch, so I was thinking that maybe next time I should try either the just a regular back stitch or even the split stitch where you come back and you split your yarn and continue on. Um, but anyways, we are all done now. We've crocheted the body and embroidered on the details, and so you did it. You've uh, crocheted an Umbreon. All right, we made it to the end of the tutorial. I'd love to know how it went for you. Uh, leave a comment down below or connect with me on Instagram. I love seeing photos of your work. And um, these two uh, um, Umbreons will be <laughs> available on my website uh, later. So follow me for updates. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. Bye!